Hey, 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 what's up, YouTube? Duck, nuts in the lake. Duck, nuts in the river, guys. Duck, nuts in the sea. Duck in the ocean. So, today we're gonna talk about and we're gonna learn about short sh cutscenes and cinematography in Unity, which is created by Timeline. So it's uh, important, guys, sometimes if you want to create some projects or also if you want to make a big games, so you want to add some cinematography or cutscene uh, before the game begin or middle of the game or end of the game or something like that. So I'm not going to bore you with long speech, so let's get started. Now I'm going to create a uh, amateur car timeline, uh, car cutscene. It won't be too professional. Uh, I will do just shortly and amateurly. So let's uh, first of all um, create road. So I, I'm going to add cube. Let's the position let's increase change scale I mean so the next another step is let's quit material for our road let's add road That looks good, pretty good. So another thing, let's create uh, another cube. So what is this? Uh, so just uh, just uh, we're gonna create a white line for our roads. You always see in the cities, right? They're always um, right lines on the road. So I'm trying to make that right now. All right. Now let's change the scale cube. All right. Um, that looks good. So let's duplicate uh, our line with Control and B, and let's put other sides of the rod. I'm randomly putting all right that look looks like a bit road so so our road is ready guys so the another step is just we need car so I downloaded the car asset from asset store I'm gonna add the link in the description down below so if you want you can download it and use it because it's free so that's good so let's add car prefab in our scene it's pretty good car actually <laughs> so <coughs> see yeah everything is good so let's call this cube road so the another step is Actually, this is our main step. Main actually <coughs> thing we are trying to do is create timeline. So I'm clicking on window. So <coughs> there's a timeline. Uh, sequencing. So in the sequencing uh, part, there's a timeline you can see. So let's, I'm gonna drag this timeline window down so let's quit a quick empty object and let's call this cutscene. Let's quit timeline for this cutscene empty object. Save it. So, so let's also okay we have camera so that's good. So let's change 
the rotation and position of camera. Actually, we can make like this. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, guys, that looks good. So let's it's a little bit left side. We want to come out to look. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to back to timeline. So there's a animate. So let's click on this plus. Oopsie, 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 oopsie. All right, so for this recording <laughs> part, it's how to click on this plus button. So uh let's so we're clicking on this plus so and there's an animation track what we need right now so let's drag main camera to animator and then click on create animation on main camera so let's record it so i want to add key for camera's current position and let's go to 30 and then um, let's just we can see a camera cameras uh, view from here so I want to camera move like that and we forgot one thing actually and that is add key on rotation of camera right now so also don't forget to add key the current rotation of camera then we can get back to 30 again so let's change rotation of camera this let's get let's get closer not like that i don't want to uh no, 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 oopsie. That's a bit hard. something like that then let's go to 60 car is so another thing is let's yeah something like that and then in 90 this camera move a bit far away again and a little bit up and also it looks down like that and save it save it so the another thing is we have to uh, add another add another animation track and it will be for our car and let's uh, record it so let's go to car and uh, let's add key to position and rotation of our car in the in this in zero second so I'm not going to do any changes in any of these th seconds until we come to 90, actually 60. So 60, I'm going to add, add key to car's rotation and position again. 
and from 90 it will move a bit further forward yep to record it let's get back to camera and let's record it so let's change the position actually let's press ctrl z i just want to change the rotation of camera so i want to camera to look opposite side yeah like this actually i made a mistake wait so let's click on main camera again so let's go to 120 so let's change rotation again so for x axis that's good let's save that and let's focus on car so let's move car forward again and that's it guys it's very simple uh, it's cutscene if you want you can you can also add car sound uh, to the timeline I didn't download it uh, but if you want you can from Google or somewhere so you can click on audio track and you can drag your audio to here and you can add like this it's very simple and it's very easy to be honest um, so this it's just cutscenes just uh, like the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel guys let's grow together have a nice day